guys, my name is Sylvia Antep and I am going to be guiding you through day five. Um, day five is actually one of my favorite ones because of the arts and crafts that we're going to be doing later on. But um, So this video, the reason why we have created it is because as a teacher, you probably want to make sure you know what story to tell if you want to make it better or if you want to memorize it. So. I'm going to try my best to go over everything that you need to do, but just be aware that throughout the time that you have this lesson, you can always make it better. By making it better, I mean maybe instead of just reading it, you probably want to memorize it, or instead of like also memorizing it and then having props. So props would be anything that would make the story come to life that is similar to the story. So just be aware that this is your day, and you can do as you wish, just make sure you stick to the theme and the objectives of this day. Um, so for every day, you need to make sure you stick to the schedule, which is always um, go over the rules, rules and expectations. You do an icebreaker. Not every lesson has an icebreaker, but I think most, most of them do. So do an icebreaker, you do the lesson, and then some days have a guest speaker, but I don't know if yours has a guest speaker. Let me check. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have a guest speaker, and then we do the, the verse, and then we do our props. So that's what we're going to be going over today. My job is to help you as much as I can with the setup of the materials that you're going to be making. So, for example, if you have this packet right here, this is your lesson plan. This is what you're going to be making throughout the time. If you don't have it in your email, you can always um, email me or tell one of the coordinators to get it, or you can always Google it. Just type graduate class um, vacation Bible school, and you'll be able to find it. So your day, day number five, um, is going to be, it's going to start on page 15. It says, you will need. So these are the things that you're going to be needing. Um, I will have all this ready for you. So the signs that say Jesus or whatever, um, the balloon, I will have it ready for you. Um, your day requires letters that form Jesus, the name of Jesus, the word Jesus. So um, I will have that ready for you. And I will make sure to hide it around the area because the kids may need it. So make sure you go over the expectations first. Expectations can be found and rules can be found on page 18. So page 18, these are going to be the three rules that we're going to um, focus on the whole time that we are there. So the first one is our respect God, our respect others, and then the last one is respect your leader. So right there in the bottom of each, there's a sentence that helps you understand what that rule means. And as you read it to them, you can always give a little example of, of what that means to you. Um, this is something that the kids already know. This is the last day. They should know. And while you're doing your lesson, we are, the rest of the, the, the people, the volunteers, are going to be passing out stickers if they're good. So the way that they earn their stickers is by following these rules. And hopefully they are wearing their hats. Once they get a sticker, they put it on. This hat was made on day one. So day one, this is what they made for the arts and crafts, and this is something that they can just keep it throughout the time. Once after we're done with arts and crafts and your day is done, they are going to be able to exchange the stickers for candy. And that's what you have to do. So the first thing you do is go over the rules. The second thing you do is you're going to do your icebreaker. Your icebreaker basically is an activity for your students to know um, what the lesson is going to be about. And your lesson is going to say, oh, your lesson is scavenger hunt. So the whole class or all the, the kids are going to get up and you're going to tell them that you have lost a couple of letters around the area. So make sure you tell them exactly what, I don't know how it's just tell them maybe give them an idea of, of the area that you have maybe gone to or two more and tell them that there's five letters missing and they need to figure out where they're at bring it to the stage and then they need to 
um, formed a very, very special order. So they, they need to do that. And you can read a little bit more about it in your lesson plan. It's on 15, page 15. After you do that, um, it says, tell the story and have your characters act it out. They can either repeat their character sentence after you. So you're going to have three people that are going to help you out with the, the acting out. So three are, are skits of four. They are going to assign them to you, and they're going to read this out. So they're going to know exactly what you need help with. If you need more support, you can ask the kids to help you out. Um, as you call them forward, make sure you tell the whole class why you selected them. So make sure you focus on the three R's and say, for example, Jimmy was showing lots of respect before we got here and he was helping us out. So um, Jimmy, can you be one of our actors or whatever it is? Once you tell the story, you can tell the story as you want, but make sure you're using the actors. You're going to tell the story. After you tell the story, you are going to introduce to them the verse of the day. So it says here on page 16, today's verse is talking about Jesus, Acts 4, 12. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved. So this is letting us know that we can only be saved by, by God. Um, so then you're going to be introducing it to them the way that you introduce it to them. The verse is by selecting a student. Make sure you say why you selected the student. Have them come to the front and they're going to pop a little inside a balloon. There's going to be confetti. There's going to be a little coin and a paper that has the verse inside. The student is able to, to read it or you can read it. After you read it, make sure they repeat it after you. Uh, after you do that, you're going to have to say, after everything they say, they're going to have to say, no way. So then it's going to say, can going to church get you to heaven? No way. Can being good get you to heaven? No way. Can being baptized get you to heaven? No way. So they're going to be saying, no way. And then it says, can being rich get you to heaven? No way. So you're going to explain a little, bit, a little bit about what that means. You're going to have a guest speaker come up. This guest speaker is going to take five minutes only, I would say. The guest speaker is going to share with everyone um, his just how he was able to know God, how his life changed for his testimony. And the way that I would do it if I was one of the guest speakers would be by saying one sentence about my testimony and then having someone else act it out. That way kids are not just listening. Kids are engaged because they're looking at someone act it out. So I can say, um, I would always steal a lot from all my friends and my teachers. And then I can have my friend act it out. And whenever I came home, I always noticed that I was so empty inside. I needed more, but I didn't know what I needed when I got that verse acted out. And then my mom took me to church and I found out that the one thing that I needed the most was Jesus. And I didn't need to steal and I didn't need to lie because all I needed was Jesus. So I apologized to all my friends and my teachers because now I am whole. I have Jesus and I can have my friend act it out. So that's just a small example. It's actually less than five minutes. Um, <clears throat> So then after that, you want to say, if you ever have questions about Jesus or heaven, then as we move through it, our activities today, just let us let one of us know and talk to your leaders about this at any time. So after, we're going to have, I'm guessing, some type of altar, altar call on that day. And you can say, in today's story, what did Jesus say these men would become? They are going to say fish is dead. So just finish your lesson. Just finish your lesson. And after that, they're going to start moving on to the arts and crafts. The arts and crafts, I wasn't able to do it, but I will have all the materials ready for you. And I will also have a model so it's easy to just finish the work of how it's supposed to go. But basically, I printed it out for you. And it 
it's going to be um, popsicle sticks from top and bottom, and it's going to be glued. You're going to glue the net, and then inside you're going to have like little people or whatever inside, and then you're going to have like your ribbon. That way the kids are able to take it home and hang it somewhere. In every arts and crafts, we want to make sure that they're diverse. That way students are able to take it to their home and always reflect as they walk by. They can remember us and remember what they learned. And I'm hoping by the fifth day, everyone's able to understand a little bit more of who God is. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, and that's basically going to be it. If you have any questions about day five or any other days, just make sure you email me, contact one of the leaders. Um, I will have my Pinterest account, if you can follow my Pinterest account. In my Pinterest account, if you type in Sylvia Atef, A-T-E-F, you can find I have a folder for Belize. And in this folder, you're able to, to find able to find all the arts and crafts that we're going to be doing over there. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and email me.